Reset the rotation of the wheel. Reset the origin of the wheel if needed, so to make sure the rotation center is really the center. Create a plane axis empty, which will be the anchor the object will follow. I rename this to Tracker. Then create a path. You can go into edit mode to change the position and the shape of the curve. Here I only move the starting point closer to the tracker. By doing this in edit mode, the origin stays in the center of the world and doesn't move with the path. Parent the tracker to the path. Press Ctrl P to set parent to object to keep it in position. Select the path, then object properties. Scroll to path animation. When you click and drag right and left, you see the tracker moves along with the path when changing the evolution time in the path animation. Set the tracker on the place where you want it to start. Now click the dot behind the evaluation time to set the first keyframe. Then choose the end keyframe. Move the tracker by changing the evaluation time. Click the keyframe dot again to set the end position on the timeline. Now the tracker moves automatically when you play the sequence. Select the wheel, then shift click the tracker and use the shortcut Ctrl P to parent the wheel to the tracker. When you play the sequence, the wheel moves but doesn't spin. Select the wheel and find the rotation axis. Here the Y axis. Now right click on the Y axis and add a driver. In expression, type 1 star VAR. Choose the tracker as the object. Now this is done, and when you play the animation, the wheel will not only move, but also rotate. But it rotates too fast. In my case, I change the driver speed to 0 0.3. This is better. Add a bone. This bone will rotate with the wheel, and the coupling rod will hook to this bone. I scale the bone. Snapping is turned off. Move the bone to align with the pin of the coupling rod. I move the bone to the middle of the train, so it isn't in the way. With the bone selected, shift select the wheel. Now parent the bone to the wheel by pressing Ctrl P again. The bone now moves with the wheel, but we don't want it to rotate. With the bone selected, Add a limit rotation constraint. Depending on the direction of your object, you limit the one axis. In my case, it is the y axis. Now you see we are getting really close. Parent the coupling rod to the bone. Now to add another wheel, press Alt-D to duplicate a linked item. I'm pressing X to move it on the X-axis, then I type the distance to move it in position. Done! A bonus tip. In this setup, the objects will not turn with the curve. Select the curve and in the path animation, tick follow. Problem solved.